you have arrived at the place, the place in which an atheist and a Christian can conversate without debate. I should have always been saying that because that rhymes, that's a, that's a good catchphrase. Let's see if I remember to do that in the next video. So look, I realize that this video is a little bit of a sidestep compared to what we're normally doing, but I think it's important to kind of read the room a little bit based on what I see in the comments. Let's talk about this. Let's, let's focus on this and just get it out of the way. So I made a video called, As an Atheist, Discuss Your View of the Immoral vs. Illegal Venn Diagram. So if you haven't checked out that video, I think it's very important, uh, you know, in this series as I uh, cater to atheists and, and we find out what we can agree on, not what we disagree or what debate on, not interested in a debate. So I'm, I'm very happy about that video. I think it was a very fundamental video to what I'm, for what I'm trying to do here. Trivia, uh, I'm not making any money off of that video. Uh, YouTube decided it was too controversial. So uh, they officially confirmed that. A lot of my atheist videos, they're like, uh, I don't know, we have to review it first. And after they watched that one, like where I said, I morally disagree with abortion. Oh, that's all I had to hear. I'm like, okay, you're not making money off of that one. That's cool, that's cool. So let's check out some, some interesting, uh, relevant comments that maybe you've thought in your head that have come up there. So I'm looking to do, here we go. John Hammond, quote, your hair has gone from the top of your head to the bottom, or is your camera upside down? They got three likes. Another one from SWHL, quote, your lack of hair is unsettling two thumbs up. So let's just talk about that. You know, sometimes we just have to have a conversation about the elephant in the room. Yes. You know me as a guy who basically, you know, had all hair. No. The perfect head of hair? No. I mean, my hairline does kind of go up a little bit. But uh, yeah, I had decent hair. I mean, you know. And yes, I chose to get rid of the hair because I felt like it. Historically though, I've, I've been doing that since I was 21. When I was in college, all the guys in my dorm, they buzzed off all their hair just, just because. And then not because of peer pressure, but ultimately just because I'm like, well, if it looks bad, at least I've got an excuse. But actually I got so many compliments on I'm like, okay, when I feel like it, I can just get rid of my hair and I can pull it off. So, this is something I do every year and a half. I've done this every year and a half since age 21. Why, why a year and a half? Well, because ultimately when I get tired of it, I usually keep it for a couple months. Then it takes, you know, two or three months to even look like a decent hair cut again because it's in that awkward stage. And then uh, I usually kind of let my hair grow out for a little bit and I'm like, okay, now it's time. And that's, that's usually a year and a half. That's just how it works. The only exception I know of is when I got married 11 years ago and you know I didn't want to be bald for the wedding if I didn't if, if I didn't have to be you know it's your wedding so okay I chose not to be bald for my wedding uh, that was the exception and then I guess a couple months later I kind of reset the whole thing and shaved my hair off so is that is that a good enough explanation on why I did it ultimately I felt like it you know I did this nearly a week ago at this point and I, I did it without a guard. And if you want to watch the video where I did it, it's on this channel. And I use this, a Remington Shortcut Pro. I'll put a link in there if you want to use, try one yourself. It's $50 well invested. So ultimately, I guess I might, I mean, in the typical shtick of the thing I'm supposed to say, so do you believe <laughs> I look okay without, like, and that's one of my running jokes, by the way. When I put, do you believe? Because I know, like, culturally, well, oh, see there, I did, I did it again. See, there's been a character arc with me in making these videos, you know, where I've kind of grown into this role, kind of gained respect from, from viewers who are atheists. And I learned certain rules. I, you know, as they say, you have to break a few eggs before you can make an omelet. And I did that. I learned that I cannot use the word culture if I'm talking about generalizations, generalizations about atheists, even I have to say 
what is your individual perspective in the comments. And yes, I'll collectively look at those and kind of get an understanding in general, but that doesn't mean all atheists believe that. I have to be careful my language and use that disclaimer. I can't use the word believe if in reference to, you know, religious things. So I'm, you know, I've learned these things and I can't, I, and I can't say that atheists have a culture. I can't say, uh, you know, uh, that there's an, a leader or any kind of fundamental belief, or I can't use the word belief. So I've learned those things and I kind of tap dance around them. But sometimes as a joke, just as a kind of nudge to you, like say, hey, look, we don't have to take all this so seriously. We can joke around a little bit, right? And so when I say, do you believe? That's my, ha <laughs> ha because I know I'm not supposed to use the word believe in these videos. To me, it's, it's kind of arbitrary, but I, I'll respect that if that's what's important to you that I don't use the word believe. But do you believe, <laughs> do you believe I look better with hair or do you believe that I look better bald and bearded? Now, granted, your opinion does not reflect atheist nationwide, worldwide, globally now. What do you, the individual atheist, believe about this look? I was about to say my new look, but again, this is every year and a half of my life. This isn't, to me, this isn't new. The only thing really new is the, is the beard with it. I have a beard this thick. I'm, I'm a hairy guy. <laughs> I've had a full beard since I was 16, or I was able to grow one. And, you know, this is, it's been exactly four weeks since I last shaved my beard. So in four weeks time, this is my beard. So there you go. You, the individual atheist, do you believe that I look better with hair, maybe clean shaven, or do you think, you know what? It, I wasn't expecting it, but somehow I kind of like this better. I think I could get used to this. What do you, as the individual atheist, because you don't have a culture, it's not a collective culture, it's an individual person that you are, and I'm gonna look at the comments, and overall, I'm gonna look at the individual comments just to kind of get a general idea. As individuals, how you perceive it, this. Is that just a couple of people saying it's unsettling and weird? Or like, no, okay, now that I've been watching you for like nearly eight minutes, talk about it. Okay, yeah, I guess I guess I vote for bald and beard. So, bald and beard or keep the hair, man. You vote in the comments. This is as deep as it gets on this video.